Hello, welcome to Red Ted Art. Today we're going to show you how to make pom-poms using a fork. So, first thing you'll need is some wool. I've got some reasonably thick, nice, bright wool here. I shall cut off a little bit. Whilst I'm doing this, please subscribe to the channel. We'd love to see you here again soon. Right, I put the wool here and I'm going to hold it in place. There we go. And then I'm going to start wrapping. Like so. And I usually go, is it about an inch apart? Make it nice and thick. Keep wrapping. Kind of a little bit of a experimenting thing the more you do it the more you find kind of a pom-pom thickness and shape that works for you right maybe a tiny bit more on the edges okay that should do that's quite thick yeah so you can see now i'm going to cut it and then i'm going to take the wall from behind Bring it over and round, so it's sort of, and then I'm going to tie a little knot. Can you see? Like that, and try and get it as tight as possible without ripping the wool, because I often rip the wool. If, like me, you do rip the wool, you could also use um, a baker's twine in the middle. Oh, I'm not being being a bit clumsy today with my knots. Trying to hold it in place and then knot it. Here we go. Here we go. So biggest twine could look really nice anyway. So you've got it knotted like this. Pull it off your fork. That's your job done with the fork. And now you start cutting. You don't need pretty little scissors, but pretty little scissors always make things fun, don't they? And just snip, snip. You can of course use your fingers as well, not just your a, a pair of um, not just a fork. Works really well with fingers too, especially if you want to make bigger pom poms because your fingers are wider than the fork. Now I'm going to do the other side. go so now you can see it's a little bit of a funny shaped pom-pom oopsie and off it goes and all you need to do now is trim it it's not a perfectly circular one it's a bit more oblong but that's not necessarily a problem you basically just trim it into the shape you need i often save the little bits that get trimmed and use it as stuffing on other projects i'm a bit thrifty like that can't help myself So, waste not, want not. I have a little bag full of it. Let's see, what do you think? Do a little bit more here, a little bit more there. And that is actually quite a nice shaggy pom pom. Here we go, I think that will do. So, put this to the side to save for another day. And there you have your very own DIY. Oopsie pom-poms using a fork. Anyway, hope to see you here on Red Hood Art again soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!